Hi, this is Mark Cashman. I'd like to walk you through what happens to a video file when you upload it into Office 365 Video. I'm going to start with our contributor. The first thing that they're going to do is take their video file and upload it via the Office 365 Video web interface, which first puts the file into SharePoint Online. This original file does count against storage from a tenant's overall team site pooled storage. And from a format's perspective, this upload can be H.264, MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, VC1, WMV, the DV file format, and many more. Next, we send a copy of the original file over to Azure Media Services to be transcoded into a number of different resolutions. This will help prep it for adaptive smooth streaming so that our consumer receives the best playback experience based on a combination of device and bandwidth availability. Playback is based on H.264 at 720p, ranging from about 400 to 3,000 kilobits per second. Now, if we detect a desktop, Mac, or PC on a good connection, we'll send a high-resolution file. If at any point we detect that the bandwidth goes down or the original request comes from a smaller device, the service will provide or switch to a smaller video resolution. Throughout playback, the service monitors and adjusts everything silently in the background about every two seconds to continuously provide the best possible playback experience. What's important to note, throughout the life cycle of the video, during upload, in storage, and during playback, both in SharePoint Online and Azure Media Services, everything is encrypted and secure by design. That's encryption at rest and encryption in transit. And the primary Office 365 Trust Center promise applies to Office 365 Video. A company's videos are kept isolated and encrypted in all locations and are only available to authenticated employees that have access and permissions to their company's videos. Beyond upload and playback, Office 365 Video also leverages Azure Media Services for thumbnailing. A video thumbnail is generated by Azure Media Services and sent back to SharePoint Online as metadata. And then, as you start to fill out title, description, and whatnot about the video, that is also going to be stored in SharePoint Online and displayed on the video's playback page. Each uploaded video feeds the Office graph, making it so relevant videos show up in people's Office Dell view, now with unique card layouts for videos. All up, Office 365 Video combines the power of SharePoint Online with the benefits of Azure Media Services. You get this incredible back end, a beautiful and scalable front end, plus the mobility and security of Office 365, all at no cost beyond the default investment of Office 365. Thanks for your time and happy uploading.